Good evening. The undefeated streak is on the line. Barbican has not lost a single time in the Kasafa Super League. Med Forest is feeling confident and they're hitting their mark here in this contest in Zone A action. Will they be the ones to topple Barbican? This is Zone A matchup. Barbican, who are undefeated so far in this red in this Kasafa Super League Zone A contest, and Met Forest, who are third, they'll be looking to hand them their first loss of the season. It's Barbican, and they face off against Met Forest Football Club. Hello again, my name is Christopher Scott. If you're just joining for the first time, hello, my name is Christopher Scott. And this is the second match in Kasafa Super League doubleheader action. We normally stream on Fridays and on Saturdays. And this is Island Sports Network. For new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Just hit the notification bell so you can know when we're streaming again. And the first match has just been concluded. Malines, they faced off against Constant Spring. Constant Spring again, getting a positive result for the second straight week. They drew 1-1 with Malines United. After a sensational first half strike by Javier Wilmot, the number 11 for Constant Spring, and then a penalty converted by Sutherland. So that is the end of that. And now, Barbican, they face off against Med Forest. We are ready. The role is to continue to drive for the development of the game here. Although players are selected from clubs abroad, they were developed in the league. They're really quality players and they have really good attitude and you get your money's worth. This match has turned up several gears. Kick things off here in the second of the Kasafa Super League doubleheader. Met Forest, they face off against Barbican. Med Forest with possession. And I tell you, they will have to come into this contest with, without any fear. And they would want to say they're the first teams that actually handed Barbican their first loss. So 
So, Barbican with possession. Malik Douglas. Sending that ball forward and able to find Andrew Christie. And Midforest now with possession. Launching that ball forward. And it's actually a foul committed. So it will be a free kick to Midforest. And just quickly reading the lineup for you for Barbican. Nicholas Campbell, he's in goal. Then we have Joel Nicholas, Maurice Wilson, Tajay Dixon, Malik Douglas, Romain Husang, Andrew Christie. And then we have Andrew McLeod, Mario McDonald, Brian Grayson, and Tristan Grant. Or Graham. And then on the bench, we have Loxley Thompson, Naeem Cameron, Ricardo Henry, Abayomi Diagular, and then Dadrian Dixon, Okive Blake, Andrew White, Kimar Thomas, and Donovan Walker. So that is the lineup for Barbican. We're getting the Mid Forest lineup momentarily. Now receiving the Medforce lineup, and I will read them to you. We have Ian Davis and then O'Shane Aaron, Jody Gordon, Tavoy Cold Spring, Omari Edwards, Rodari Edwards, Dale Reed, Norval Christie, Rashane Dallas, Dylan Edwards to be exact, Jamari Dallas, Devon Salmon, and then on the bench we have Orlando Brown. Orlando Ellis, Theodore Artwell, Shavar Whitaker, Tyrese Sims, Deshaun Melbourne, Dondre Walker, Rashane Dallas, and Giovanni Fang. So that is the lineup for both teams. As we see Malik Douglas twisting and turning. Goes into touch for a throw to Barbican. And Malik Douglas with the ball for Barbican. And he's sending that one inside. And it just meets the hands of the goalkeeper. Rolls it out very quickly. Goes into touch for a throw. Taking quickly. And now Husang with the ball. Sends that one across. Andrew Christie with the ball. Sends it further up for Malik Douglas. And now an early opportunity for Bobby Khan sending that one inside. Defensive work. But it's still danger. And the ball sent into touch. And that will be a throw to Barbican. And I would think they would send some bodies inside. They do. They send three bodies inside Barbican. And it will be a long throw. Or will it? Barbican with possession. And the ball swung inside the 18 yard box. And they are appealing for a handball. The referee says no. Deidre Nixon. Twisting and turning. Left two players in the dust butt. He did in fact foul another Midforest player, so it will be a free kick to Midforest. Balls in forward, Andrew Christie. And the referee says foul. It will be a free kick to Medforest. And the two teams not really settling at the moment. Yes, early days, but... You'd want to see at least one of them trying to search forward and search forward effectively. And 
Malik Douglas with the ball for Barbican. Sends that one across, finding Tajay Dixon. Dixon sends it back and launching that ball forward, trying to, to salvage something here. Medforce with possession. Still possession mid for us. They do lose it. And the defender just shielding the mid forest player off the ball. So it will be a throw to mid forest. And so the throw actually to Barbican as they go forward. And defensive work again by mid forest. Sent forward, and will he chase? He does, but he couldn't latch on to that one in time, so goes behind for a goal kick to Med Forest. There's a battle, and the referee says it was a handled ball by Radari Edwards, so it will be a free kick for Barbican. Barbican with possession. Tried the step over. Tried the cheeky trick to get past Dylan Edwards, but couldn't. Comes off Dylan Edwards, though. It will be a throw to Barbican. And they would say go back home. And Mario McDonald sends that ball forward. Unable to find anyone in a Barbican shirt. Now, Radari Edwards sends that further forward for uh, Omari Edwards. And defensive work by Maria McDonald goes behind for a corner. Early opportunity for Med Forest. Early opportunity. And we see about five bodies inside. This ball set to the back post. And it goes over. It will be a goal kick for Barbican. Danger averted. So, as we know in five matches, Barbican hasn't lost. They've won, they've won four and they drew one. So they're on 13 points at the moment. And there was another team that was undefeated. And that was Brownstone last night and they faltered. Will there be another team that falters and their undefeated streak is broken? We're not sure, but anything can happen. And just to let you know, from the result last night, Brownstone, they were beaten by three goals to nil against Central Kingston. Another corner for Mid Forest. Yeah. 
Boss it across near post and not the best corners in the end. Chipping that ball forward and a dangerous ball sent it side. Dealt with by Mario McDonald. Still danger. Now Tajay Dixon sends it across and they can now counter with Malik Douglas. Malik Douglas tried the cheeky pass. Medforce do have possession now. That's through Aarons, but it goes into touch. And Medforce now have an op another opportunity to go forward. They have a throw. Ian Davis sends that ball further forward. And now they can swing that one inside to the back post. And one Rodari Edwards couldn't latch on to that one, so... Goes behind for a goal kick to Barbican. Edwards tried to latch on to that one, but he goes into touch for a throw. Almost 13 minutes gone, early days, and who do you think will win this match and by how many goals? Do you think you can just send it in the comments below? Don't forget to subscribe to Island Sports Network and of course my channel CGS Sports. Click the notification bell on both channels so you know when Island Sports Network posts a video or when myself posts a new video. And of course, don't forget you can also subscribe a paid subscription on islandsports.net. That's the website and then the mobile app, Island Sports Network. $3.99 US for the month and $39.99 US for the year. Half of the proceedings goes back to the league. And we do double Kasafa Super League on Fridays and Saturdays and then Premier League on Sundays. And also we do Monday Night Football, but Monday Night Football is exclusively on the mobile app and the website. And then, don't worry, tomorrow it's Red Stripe Premier League action. Med Mount Pleasant, they face off against Cavaliers. As we see Tajay Dixon for Barbican. And... He was tackled by O'Shane Aaron, so it will be a free kick to Barbican. take this one might be Mario McDonald but we also see Malik Douglas behind the ball as well and will they strike it towards goal we see a two or a three man wall built by Mid Forest And a shot by Mario McDonald blocked by Ian Davis. And it's still danger. But the goalkeeper just routinely picks that one up. Sends that ball forward. Headed on. And Tajay Dixon is caught offside. So it will be a free kick to Mid Forest. Take it quickly. Cool spring, sends it forward to Ian Davis. Ian Davis sends it further forward. And he sends it back. And he 
It's a throw to Jay Dixon for Barbican. Sends that ball forward. But Ian Davis again, the captain. Yes, leading from the back. They said lead from the front, but he's helping in defense at the moment. Ian Davis now, captain. Sends that one over to Salmon. And Medforce with possession. Cold Spring launches that ball forward for Med Forest. And they do lose it. Barbican with possession. Free kick for Barbican. Now going to be taken by Mario McDonald. Sent forward. Intercepted. Ian Davis challenges. Will be a free kick to Barbican. Referee just informing him that that's not where the foul was committed or the infringement was committed. Ball sent inside. Headed on. Barbican with possession again. They do lose it. No sent across. And nobody. So let's on to that one. Husang. Still Husang being challenged by Radari Edwards. McDonald now being challenged by two mid forest players and they do get it back. And the one sent inside and the goalkeeper collects. Goal kick for Med Forest. Med Forest third in zone A. In the Kasafa Super League and Barbican, the undefeated Barbican, they sit in first place. And they're yet, yes, I said it correctly, they're undefeated. They have not lost a game. They've won four, drawn one. And it's similar to, I guess, Ole's reign at Manchester United. They've only drawn one game. They've been undefeated in the Premier League. But this is Kasafa Super League action. Ball sent across for Grayson. And it goes in to touch for a throw to Med Forest. through Gordon sends it back and now it's Dixon Andrew Christie looping that ball forward and trying to find Maurice Wilson but it goes behind for a goal kick to Med Forest and uh, this has been a physical game so far and uh, Med Forest just trying trying so hard to deliver the First loss 
of the season for the yellow, white, and black outfit. And they'll be trying their best. Grayson sends that ball forward. And they're just having a seesaw battle for possession. No, it's Andrew Christie. Christie of Barbican. Still Christie. Being challenged by Christie. And Maurice Wilson now. And sends that ball back. Who sends it? What it's tied to Shane Dixon. Oh, what a what an opportunity for Barbican to go ahead. And the man that always lights up the crowd whenever he plays had a golden opportunity to put Barbican ahead and was unable to do so. Mario McDonald unable to keep that one in place, so it will be a throw. And Amari Edwards quickly taken. No, it's back with Amari Edwards, and that was a clattering challenge. And it will be a free kick. McLeod has to be careful. As I said, it has been a very physical game so far. And you can see why. So, free kick for Med Forest. Cold Spring, the usual free kick taker for Med Forest, stepping up to take this one. And I would think that he would swing this one inside the 18-yard box. He does. And that's not a bad ball. Headed on. To Jay Dixon. Latches on to that one. But then it's Rodari Edwards. And it's to Jay Dixon trying to link up with Malik Douglas. But it goes into touch. And it's a throw. And the referee says no. It's a throw to Barbican. Throw taken. Mario McDonald. Brian Grayson with the ball. He's going to be challenged by Radari Edwards. Sends it back to McDonald. McDonald looking for a pass. Sending that one forward. Trying to find Malik Douglas. That's chested down nicely. And now he will send it forward. Unable to find Andrew Christie. Medforest will take this one. But they do lose possession again. Defensive work there by Cole Spring. Shane A runs with the ball, sending it forward. And he couldn't let you on to that one is Amari Edwards. So Nicholas Campbell, easy does it for him. Now he rolls it over to McDonald. Who sang? Sends it forward to Christie. Being fouled by Norval Christie. So Andrew Christie being formed by Norval Christie. Norval Christie. So it's one Christie to another. Will be a free kick, however, for Barbican. Christie with the ball, sends it forward. Challenged again. And it will be a free kick to Barbican once more. And Maurice Wilson still on the floor. Just taking his time to get up. And he is up. So free kick for Barbican. And he meets no one in a Barbican shirt, so it goes behind for a goal kick. Mid force with possession. Sent forward. And they still do have possession. And again they lose it. So Barbican with Maurice Wilson sending that ball forward. Trying to find Andrew Christie. Taken by Cole Spring who sends that ball forward. Now it's with a Shane Aarons. And it goes into touch, the referee says, so it will be a throw to Barbican. Oh, 
Ari Edwards. Again, defensive work. Throw again. Ramin Husang. And the referee says it's a throw actually to Barbican. So, Brian Grayson wanted that throw quickly. And Norva Christie thought it was actually a free kick, but the referee says no, it's a throw. And Ian Davis wanted to latch on to that one. And the referee says no. That was an appeal for a handed ball. Grayson sends that one forward, but it falls to Radari Edwards. They do lose possession. And now it's with Tajay Dixon. Sends it to Brian Grayson. And he was tackled by Radari Edwards, so it will be a free kick to Barbican. And that was a big appeal for a handed ball. If you remember a few, few weeks ago when we did a match between Medforest and Constant Spring, there was a certain captain that struck the ball and that was a beautiful strike from ian davis and that gave them the win 3-1 against constant spring as we see a ball surging forward for barbican but try as he might he couldn't get the foul inside the box so it will be a goal kick to mid forest so that was a very important victory for them they're now third in the zone a standings and of course barbican in first I'm telling you that a Barbican has actually scored the second most in Zone A and they've conceded the least. So, very good defensive team, Barbican, very good defensive structure, and they have the second best goal difference still because Molines United they drew 1 1. So, Molines United unable to go ahead they're on 12 points they're on 11 points because they were on 10 before their one all draw with constant spring today earlier on in the double header so barbican now with an opportunity to go even further ian davis and that's a foul by ian davis so it will be a free kick and it's a yellow card for the captain so the skipper gets into the referee's books and he doesn't want to hear anything from the captain and the medical staff for Barbican is summoned. Don't forget, Red Stripe Premier League action tomorrow. We travel to St. Anna's Mount Pleasant. They face off against Cavalier. I streamed on YouTube, Facebook, on the website and the mobile app. And this is the second match in our Kasafa Super League double header that we normally stream on Fridays and on Saturdays. The first match concluded and it was a one-all draw between Malines United and Constant Spring. Constant Spring getting a second positive result in two weeks. So they're now on four points. So positive things here for Constant Spring. 
And now the stretcher being summoned. And this is not a good sign at all. Not sure. I know it's an ankle injury that he had. But how severe is the injury? I hope everything is okay with the player. And we'll know soon enough who it is. Not the best scenes here. And that's actually Mario McDonald that's being carted off. And it seems to be a right ankle injury. And we wish him the speediest of recoveries. As we know it wasn't intentional, it was. 50 50 challenge, but it's not the sign you want to see, or not the scene you want to see here or in any football situations. So, anyway, the show must go on. Brian Grayson on the ball sends that one inside. And Tajay Dixon couldn't latch on to that one. And I know they can push Mid Forest. Ian Davis sends that ball forward. A very good ball from Omari Edwards. And will he make use of this opportunity? Sends that one inside for Ian Davis. Oh, and just couldn't latch on to that one properly. Send that one inside again. And taken by the goalkeeper, Nicholas Campbell. So, will be a throw to Mid Forest. Goes into touch. And uh, the substitution now being made. The injured Mario McDonald comes off. Of course, carted off and not good scenes, but comes on is Dadrian Dixon, the number 15. So he comes on, Dadrian Dixon. And Mario D McDonald cannot continue. Headed on. Can be latched on by Omari Edwards. He will try to latch on now. Being challenged. And the referee says full committed. So it will be a free kick to Barbican. So send forward, Malik Douglas with the ball. It's rather Andrew Christie sends that one across. Ball sent forward, trying to find Malik Douglas, unable to. Being collected by the goalkeeper. And Gordon sends that ball forward. Couldn't find a Shane Aarons. Tajay Dixon trying to latch on to that one, but taken up by Oten. Christian, now Hu Sang sends it across. Andrew Christie heads that one, but taken care of by Dylan Edwards. A throw. So 
Matter of fact, it's actually a free kick for Barbican. So an opportunity now for them. Defensive work by Ian Davis. Medforest loses possession, but they regain it. Now a turn by Shane Aarons, trying to get by the defender. And the referee says it's a foul, or it's rather a throw to Medforest. been confirmed to be a free kick so free kick for Mid Forest sent across and Radari Edwards with an opportunity and it's still not gobbled up and it's into the back of the net Mid Forest with the first goal and they draw first blood so Mid Forest in the lead and they know can show some level of comfort. Rodari Edwards for Mid Forest. Referee says no. And it's a foul. <laughs> and Graham sends that ball forward, trying to find Malik Douglas, meets the head of Malik Douglas, but defensive work by Dallas. Dixon with the ball, sends that one across. And an opportunity for the equalizer. And uh, collected by the goalkeeper, Gordon. Medforce with possession. And Dixon. Heads that one over for McLeod, who sends that one further forward. First touch from Christie. Now it's the Jay Dixon of Barbican. Romain Husang sends that one across for Dixon. There's a player down on the field for Barbican. And uh, takes his time to get up. He's now up. Barbican with possession through Andrew Christie. And Barbican just not being settled at the moment. Deidre Nixon almost loses it. Graham sends it back for Husang. Husang launches it forward for Christie. Christy trying to look for a pass and finds it. Dixon sends that one further over. And it goes into touch for a throw to Medforest. Dixon sends it back to the goalkeeper, Campbell. Campbell just looking for a pass. Finds Dixon again. And Medforest will try to collect. They do. And it's with the captain Ian Davis who launches that ball forward. Trying to find Radari Edwards and a chance to double. And it couldn't. And so they're surging forward. Positive signs for Medforest. 
And I tell you, the, the coach should be loving this type of energy displayed by Medforest. They're, they're just surging forward and they don't, they don't care if this is the undefeated team, Barbican. They don't care if they've won any amount straight or have not lost any. They're going, and they're going with no fear at all. And I tell you, that man, Radari Edwards, has been very instrumental here, at, at least in the first half for Mid Forest. He's just sneakily run behind the defense, and it has worked by some measure. He did it, and it resulted in a goal, actually, for Mid Forest. So. Mid Forest continues and Barbican does not fix that defensive error then Mid Forest could pile on more goals and here he is again Rodari Edwards trying to get by Brian Grayson goes across and another opportunity for Mid Forest to double their advantage and look at the intensity and they're determined Mid Forest Twisting and turning. Will he lose it? And it's still mid force with possession. And he's just shielding the player of the ball. And they're piling on the pressure. <laughs> on Barbican. So will be a throw near the corner flag. Take it quickly. Try to find Ian Davis and to fold, so it will be a free kick to Barbican. Minute and a half left in the first half. Brian Grayson with the ball sends that across to Husang. Husang almost loses it. Now it's back with McLeod. Sends it over to Dixon. Adrian Dixon with the ball. So need that one forward. Defensive work by Mid Forest goes into touch for a throw to Barbican. One minute left here in the first half. Barbican with possession. And now it's with Tajay Dixon. Dixon with the ball. Sends that one inside. Chested down by Christie. Headed on by Radari Edwards. And it is actually a foul. So it will be a free kick to Mid Forest. Arjun in charge so far here in the first half of Mid Forest. Into touch now. Through to Mid Forest. He does it back to the goalkeeper Campbell who sends it forward. Will meet the head of Ian Davis and does. But Barbican do regain possession. Malik Douglas, such a very exciting and electric player, sends it forward. Trying to find Maurice Wilson. Defensive work again from Mid Forest. And Mid Forest still with possession. Slow but effective. And he do, does lose it. McLeod sends it forward for Tajay Dixon. <laughs> and the referee says it's the end of the first half. Defensive and goalkeeping error from Barbican. And Mid Forest pounced. So at the end of the first half, 
Med Forest, they do lead by a goal to nil. And we are ready. The role is to continue to drive for the development of the game here. Although players are selected from clubs abroad, they were developed in the league. They're really quality players and they have really good attitude and you get your money's worth. This match has turned up several gears.
hot and goofy. In the soca party, she's hot and goofy. Baila with me, baby, bambi dam bedai.
emotions, but I like the mission. But you can dive right in and hold on my legs up for more than a minute. As long as you win it, 'cause my love and your love is higher. I'm not coming down, won't deny it. I'm not coming down, won't deny it. You know that I adore you, eh? 'Cause I can't see you walk away. I'm on my way, I'm on my way. Catching all the views like an elevator. And now we begin the second half as there is actually a substitution that was made. Tristan Graham, his night is over. And Ricardo Henry, he's come on for Barbican. 
free kick for Barbican. Sent inside. And Radari Edwards. Puts that one into touch for a throw to Barbican. So there's a player down and it seems to be Radari Edwards actually. And the medical staff is summoned. So Radari Edwards is still down on the field and he hasn't moved. He's being taken off momentarily. Long throw inside the 18-yard box. It's actually very dangerous and goes behind for a corner to Barbican. Opportunity to equalize. Send that one inside. Actually, it's not bad. And couldn't meet the head of a Barbican player. But Tajay Dixon does have the ball for them. Husang sends that one inside the 18 yard box. Headed over. And it's still Tajay Dixon for Barbican. Headed. Oh, that was very close. And the referee says it's a corner. For Barbican, so Barbican piling on the pressure. And that was brilliantly done. And now Barbican can know, or Mid Forest could have attacked, but unsuccessful attempt to hit them with the counter attack. And he's now being hounded by two Mid Forest players. And it is a foul. So it will be a free kick to Mid Forest. opportunity to send that one inside he does and that's headed on oh just had to be kept down and that was close the referee there's a player down on the field he's up he's okay so a golden opportunity, that was actually McLeod for Barbican to draw level. But it's still one nil in favour of Mid Forest. Malik Douglas will latch on to that one, loops that ball forward, trying to find Tajay Dixon. And not the best of Zivet Fonsa and the referee says it's a goal kick. For Mid Forest. Shields him in the end and it goes out for a goal kick. So Mid Forest still have the advantage. <coughs> that one goes into touch for a throw to Barbican. Quickly a note with Tajay Dixon. He's been challenged by Tevoy Cold Spring. And now it's with Ramin Husang. Sends it across to Brian Grayson. 
It's Brian Grayson with the ball who gives it back to Christie. And he loses it. And no, they can attack. Hits the counter-attack. Will they do it? And it is with Med Forest. Looks that ball forward for Amari Edwards. And the referee says it goes into touch for a throw to Barbican. Wilson will head that one up for Malik Douglas and now a chance for Barbican oh that was a rush challenge and he will be booked so someone goes into the referee's box and the free kick in a dangerous position what will Barbican do Who will convert? Who will take this chance? I see Christie behind it. I see Malik Douglas behind it. A four man wall built. Will they penetrate the wall? They don't. And not the best clearances. And Tajay Dixon sends that further inside but couldn't latch on to it. And they know they can attack. They can hit the counter mid forest. And the ball looped over. Actually, that's not a bad ball indeed. But just eluded Amari Edwards. So it will be a throw to Barbican. Take it quickly. And Maurice Wilson is fouled. So it will be... Free kick taken quickly by Barbican. Now it's with Andrew Christie. Sends that one over to Brian Grayson. Grayson with the ball. Loops that forward for Wilson. Wilson sends it back to Christie. Who sends it forward and unable to find Malik Douglas. Just falls into the gloves of the keeper, Gordon. Gordon launches that ball forward. Only finds the boot of Dadrian Dixon. And Malik Douglas will keep that one in play. Referee says a throw to Mid Forest. So, the referee just shouting some instructions. Headed on. Dixon sends that one across, and it's been launched forward, trying to find Maurice Wilson. And a battle for possession. Medforest currently wins that battle. Sending that ball forward. And now Mario Edwards, I believe, was in an offside position. And Salmon will let that one run out for a throw. Taken quickly. And they do have possession. And the referee says a throw to Barbican. McLeod sends that one across for Dixon. Dixon sends that one to the keeper, Campbell. Campbell sends it up to McLeod. Being challenged. Headed on. Someone heads it back. Seesaw battle for possession once more. Now it's Ramain Husang of Barbican. Gets by Captain Ian Davis of Mid Forest. It's still Ramain Husang and Ian Davis actually recovered pretty well. And now it's with Andrew Christie. Sends it across. Now it's with Nicholas, sends it to Malik Douglas, back to Joel Nicholas. Nicholas sends that one inside the 18-yard box. Barbican with possession, it's now drifting outside. And it's still Barbican with possession. Andrew Christie sends it across to Husang. Husang sends it further across to Grayson. Grayson will launch forward. And Barbican just trying to salvage something, but they don't. Edwards with possession, a oh, beautiful ball sent across. 
And now Aarons will be challenged by Deidrean Dixon. It's Aarons. And the challenge was accepted. And he did get him off the ball pretty easily. To Jay Dixon, back to Christie. Andrew Christie with the ball. Will search forward for Barbican. Sent across. And defensive work in the end. It goes behind. And it's a corner for Barbican. And Barbican just going forward here. What will they make of this corner? Ball sent to the back post. Headed on by Tajay Dixon. The referee says no, it's a corner. Last touch was from a Mid Forest player. So it will be a corner and another opportunity for Barbican to get something here and get an equalizer. Just over 57 minutes gone in this contest. Here, this is the second of the Kasafa Super League doubleheader streamed on YouTube free, on Facebook free, as we see a boss set in. Oh, that was close. And a strike by Husang. Oh, that was a brilliant save by Gordon. Had to pull off a miraculous save and opportunity was presented for Barbican. And that was a good strike from Romain Husang. And the keeper is still down on the field, but that was a save. Corner taken, headed out. And Husang latched onto it and struck it well with his left foot. Look at that strike. Left foot and it was just creeping in but the goalkeeper saw it. And put it behind for a corner. So. It will be a corner again but... He's been tended to the goalkeeper, Gordon, by the medical staff of Mid Forest. Will they convert? Ball set inside. Oh, just over the crossbar. And it will be a goal kick to Med Forest. So, Med Forest have been on the back foot for most of the first half so far. And they will need to regain their composure, go forward. Med Forest still have the lead. And still has a chance of handing Barbican their first loss of the season. Will Barbican gain only? Will Barbican gain no point from this contest, or will Midforce allow Barbican to get back into the match and continue their unbeaten run? Every team has played five matches heading into today's game, and Barbican was the only team in zone a that didn't lose a match they played five they drew one and won four they're on 13 points med forest will be looking to break that unbeaten run but they have to try to soak up as much pressure from barbican as they can free kick and a shot oh that was blocked And Medforest still has possession. Goes into touch for a throw to Barbican. And Edwards. And headed on. It's now Medforest with Rodari Edwards. Edwards sends that one across, trying to find Omari Edwards. And Dixon gets that one. And sends it over to Brian Grayson. Brian Grayson for Medforest. Still Medforest with possession. 
As Husang loops that ball over for Christie, who sends it back for McLeod. And McLeod with the ball. Sends it further to the midfield for Christie, who sends it over to Nicholas. And sends it back to Dixon. McLeod. Over to Grayson. And Husang. Christie. It's intercepting. Now it's with Ian Davis. And they can attack. Omari Edwards couldn't touch onto that one properly. Just falls to the goalkeeper, Kiapmu. Opportunity for Barbican now to attack. The ball sent over. And Malik Douglas was offside. And the fans are just telling the referee, you have to see every aspect as we see players being carded. There was a fracas there. It was an altercation. And the referee made a decision. So it will be a free kick to Barbican. Will Barbican be able to get one back? Ball launched into the 18-yard box. Defensive work by Midforest. And Midforest again launching that ball further forward. And being controlled by Husang sends it over. And Wilson it's still. And he is fouled again. So it will be a free kick for Barbican once more. Andrew Christie drawing the foul for Barbican. Ball sent forward. Oh, it's Maurice Wilson. And the referee says it's a goal kick. Battle in the air between Davis and Douglas. And now it's with Andrew Christie launching that ball forward. Falls back to Dixon again for Barbican. Lays it across for Joel Nicholas, who sends that one inside the 18-yard box. Sends that one inside again. Hit it out. And that was a foul, so it will be another free kick for Barbican. Sending that one inside again. And still nobody to that one. Defensive work by Dylan Edwards. Goes into touch for a throw to Barbican. Nicholas with the throw. Sends it to Tajay Dixon. Dixon. And a Shane A runs. It's intercepted. But it is picked up by Radari Edwards. Radari Edwards can use his speed to try and get past Brian Grayson. He attempts and he fails. And Brian Grayson gets back the ball pretty easily. And Barbican with possession. Since that one across intercepted by Shane Aarons. Now Shane Aarons with the ball. And it's sent across. Radari Edwards will latch on to that one. Since that across to Shane Aarons once more. And no one attempt. Blocked once more. Barbican with possession. They can go forward. Malik Douglas being challenged by Davis. Sends it across to Christie. Christie with the ball further across to Grayson. And Grayson to Henry, the substitute. Now it's back with Christie. Christie with the ball. Sends that one across to Joel Nicholas. 
And they're just keeping possession, but they're not really creating the chances, or they're not really converting the chances intercepted. And now it's with Med Forest, with Rodari Edwards now. Edwards with the ball. Shane A runs. Challenged. Oh, beautiful skill to get by Dixon. And Shane A runs. Oh, that was a chance. Blocked. And it goes behind for a corner. Med Forest now trying to come to the second half party. Now they have an opportunity. It's time now to double their advantage. Mid Forest. Ball sent inside. Wide of the target. Headed on by Ian Davis. Goes into touch, through to Mid Forest. And with this, they still stay in third place. Mid Forest, if they do get the win. And Barbican still stays in first but they will have suffered their first loss of the season. Headed on. Oh, that was dangerous somewhat. Goes behind for a goal kick. Barbican with possession. Wilson tried to send that one up for Henry. Goes into touch for a throw to Barbican. Defensive work again. Try to be done by Med Forest. Barbican does have possession, however. McLeod sends that one across. Finds Joe Nicholas. Controlled routinely. Sends that one up trying to find Malik Douglas. Unable to. Dylan Edwards to Ian Davis. And the referee says it's a foul. So it will be a free kick for Mid Forest. Oh, it's actually a player down on the field. And he stopped the play. So. We'll see who it is and we'll confirm. As he's slowly getting up. Actually is Norval Christie for Mid Forest that was down on the field a while ago. And he's up now. So the referee does use the drop ball. Headed up by Dixon. Christie intercepted. Headed on. Now it's with Ian Davis. Tackled up by Christie. Sends it across to Grayson. Grayson on the ball. Further across to Henry. Henry back to Grayson. Now it's with Wilson. Wilson to Grayson. Grayson loses it. Goes into touch for a through to Mid Forest. 70 and a half minutes gone. This contest, so we see a fall by Tashe Dixon. And Mid Forest, they still lead by a goal to nil. Hit it on. Grayson. It's back with McLeod who launches that ball forward. They do lose possession, however. 
and they regain it. Headed on by Christie. And now it's with Dylan Edwards who sends that ball forward. Headed on by Deidre Dixon. Controlled by Nicholas. Sends it across to Douglas. Douglas sends that one further up. Trying to find Maurice Wilson and able to. And now Norval Christie with the ball. Defensive work by Norval Christie. Goes into touch for a throw to Barbican. And this match is intensifying every minute. Will Barbican get an equaliser or will Midforest double their advantage? Ball sent inside and with to Dixon. Defensive work again by Midforest. Now it's with Joel Nicholas and a shot blocked by Cold Spring. Andrew Christie with the ball for Barbican. Trying to look for a pass and finds Dadrian Dixon. Dixon across to McLeod. Finds McLeod. McLeod still looking for a pass. Sends it forward. And the referee says no. Play on. Edwards with the ball. And he purposefully puts that ball into touch. There are two players down on the field at the moment. Rodari Edwards, one of them. The other player is up from Barbican. Cold Spring sends that ball forward. Headed, chested by Dixon. Dijon Dixon losing it is Joel Nicholas. Ian Davis sends that, sends that one across for Shane Aarons. Shane Aarons launches that ball forward. Trying to find Omari Edwards. Covered up by McLeod. Now it's with Dijon Dixon. Twisting and turning from Omari Edwards. Finds McLeod. And Barbican with possession. Still trying to find a pass. McLeod sends it to Brian Grayson. He latches on to that one before it goes out of bounds. And Grayson again. Barbican just looking for a pass. And to surge the team forward. And now Husang with the ball. To Jay Dixon. In possession for Barbican. And he was fouled. Husang with the ball. Sending that one across, able to find Nicholas. And now it will fall to Nicholas. Turning from Amari Edwards, launching that ball forward too much. And it goes behind for a goal kick to Medforest. Headed on by Ian Davis. Now it's with Ashane Nation. Launched forward by Christie. And to Jay Dixon. The free kick will be taken by Cold Spring. It is sending that ball forward. Campbell collects that one. Throw to Barbican. Christie with the ball, sends it back to Dixon. Dixon sends it back to the keeper, Campbell. Campbell to McLeod. McLeod in possession. Foul committed, so it will be a free kick to Barbican and Dondre Walker will be coming on 
for Mid Forest. And Namari Edwards comes off. So into the 18 yard box still not dealt with properly and no defensive work by Rodari Edwards so through to Barbican Through it's with Ricardo Henry, sent back for Grayson. And now to Christie. Christie sends that ball across to Joel Nicholas, and he gets it back in a shot wide of the target. Try to use the outside of his left foot to curl that one past the keeper to the keeper's far left, but didn't work out in the end. and Went way wide, way wide of the target, so it will be a, a goal kick for Med Forest. Almost 78 minutes gone. Just over 12 minutes left in this match for Barbican to get an equalizer. Or maybe even a win if they get one here now. Then it's a very, very good chance that they might get the winner. And a foul. Committed by Brian Grayson, so it will be a free kick for Mid Forest. Ball sent inside the 18-yard box and collected by the goalkeeper, Campbell. Campbell launches that ball forward, trying to find Maurice Wilson, headed on by Norval Christie. Back to his goalkeeper, Gordon. Gordon will collect. Now Gordon, it's time to launch that ball forward to Dandre Walker. Back to Radari Edwards, but it... Goes into touch for a throw. Christie. Over to Grayson. Grayson back to McLeod. Dixon. Nicholas on the wall now. And now it's Wilson. And a brilliant sliding tackle there from Devon Salmon. Goes into touch for a throw. And it will be another substitution. And it's actually Maurice Wilson that comes off for Barbican. And Kimar Thomas comes on for Barbican. Turn quickly. And now throwing, throwing quickly again. And a tackle made by a Shane Aarons. And it will be a free kick for Barbican in another dangerous position. And they have another opportunity to get an equalizer. Almost 80 and a half minutes gone. Less than 10 minutes left. Free kick, send that one inside, oh, collected by the goalkeeper, Gordon. He says, thank you very much. Menforce will be the side of relief. Launching that ball forward. 
Just finds the foot sweetly of Romain Husang. And Brian Grayson trying to latch on to that one. And Rodari Edwards does fall Romain Husang. So will be a free kick to Barbican. Take it quickly. Over to Grayson. Henry couldn't latch on to that one properly. Goes into touch for a throw to Mid Forest. Dondre Walker. Touch just eluding him. And a foul. So it will be a free kick for Barbican once more. Ball sent across for Kimar Thomas. And he has some speed on him. Does latch on to that one. Sends that one trying to find Malik Douglas. Only finds the mood of a Shane Aarons. Throw taken quickly. And again defensive work. And collected by Gordon. You'd want those all day. As we approach... 83 and a half minutes. And Aarons sends that ball further forward for Dondre Walker. Walker with the ball. And the referee says it's a free kick for Barbican. And the referee's decision, what will it be? a free kick to mid first so they have an opportunity to double their advantage send that one inside collected by Campbell send forward thrown and uh, the referee says no no foul sent across to Kimar Thomas and uh, will be a yellow card Cloud over to Dixon. Dejan Dixon with the ball. Tried to turn by Davis. Loses it. Now it's with Radari Edwards. Radari Edwards with his speed. Sends it to Shane Aarons. Still Aarons on the ball. Now being hounded by two Barbican players. But throw taken quickly. Now it's with Tajay Dixon. Almost loses it. But they do have it still. And defensive work again. No remain Husang. He couldn't keep that one in, and it will be a throw to Mid Forest. Just over 85 minutes gone in this encounter, and Mid Forest they still lead by a goal to nil. Kimar Thomas. Christie. Thomas. Over to Grayson. Husan. Christie. Christie up to Husan. Who sends it back to Thomas. Thomas sends it inside. And they still have possession. And 
Defensive work again from Mid Forest. Through to Barbican. Just under four minutes left in this encounter. One inside the 18 yard box. Oh! Could not meet the foot of Malik Thomas. And now a counter attack is on from Mid Forest. And he will use his speed. He does. Oh, just goes over the line for a throw. The fan says no. The referee says yes, it's a throw. So Barbie can take it quickly. No, it's with Andrew Christie. And it's to Jay Dixon. To Jay Dixon with the ball. Almost loses it. Still has it. Malik Douglas. Intercepted by Walker. The referee says no. Malik Douglas sends that one across to Henry. What will he do? And it's still Henry. Blocked. And Henry with a shot again. Sends it back for Douglas. And still Douglas chips that ball forward for Henry. And the referee stops play. It's actually the second chance shot by Ricardo Henry that actually I think the player was hurt from that specific shot and I think the player that's why the player is still down on the field but there's another player also just outside the 18 yard box that's also down so it's actually two mid forest players that are down at the moment Radari Edwards is now up but that was a cracking shot straight into the stomach of the mid forest player I can't imagine why he's still down at the moment. So, the referee says, a free kick, 89 minutes gone, quickly taken, drama at the end of this matchup, referee says corner, what will happen, what will be the result, will it be victory for Mid Forest? Will this be a draw here at Constant Spring Football Field or will it be a miracle and Barbie can win it? Headed on by Edwards, Dylan Edwards, but it is Barbie can with possession once more and a shot by Malik Douglas, Buck, and another shot, oh, not far off and wide of the target, so it will be a goal kick for Med Forest. And another substitution. Orlando Brown, he's coming on. And Radari Edwards, his night is over. So Rodari Edwards, he's coming off. Orlando Brown, he comes on. Goal kick. 90 minutes have elapsed. And you can see now that the only thing that Barbican can do is probably salvage a point to continue this undefeated streak. Headed on by Tajay Dixon. 
on a kick there. That was by Jamari Dallas. Free kick by Barbican, headed on, and it's still an opportunity and a shot, oh, ooh, just wide of the target, just wide of the target, an opportunity for Barbican to salvage at least a point in this contest, what a shot from Malik Douglas, and just wide of the target, Med Forest can breathe a sigh of relief once more, headed on, Kimar Thomas, J.J. Dixon intercepted. And the goalkeeper will collect this time with his feet. Send that forward. Christie launches that ball even forward. And Met Forest still in trouble. Oh! And that is the equalizer. That is the equalizer. Met Forest could have held on. And my, oh my, the undefeated streak continues. Joel Nicholas, the goal scorer for Barbican. Med Forest just had it on the cusp to beat Barbican for the first time in this competition. But Barbican says no. They pressed and they pressed and they pressed and finally, towards the end of the match, they finally got their goal. And you can say safely now that their undefeated streak still continues. Kimar Thomas, and it's still Kimar Thomas, sends it to Henry. And it's a throw. Usang takes it quickly. Dixon, headed on. Now it's with Davis. Davis couldn't latch on properly. Dylan Edwards heads it back. No Walker. It's being tackled by Henry. Free kick to Med Forest. Foul, so will be free kick for Mid Forest. What will happen? So much drama towards the end of the match. What will happen? And a free kick. Sent inside. And that is the end of that. Med Forest held on for so long. But not to be outdone by Barbican. Barbican wanted to keep this undefeated streak going. And they did. A late goal by Joel Nicholas means that they still have not lost in the Kasafa Super League. So at the end of 90 minutes, the referee calls it. And the score, Med Forest 1, Barbican 1. Remember, tomorrow we travel to St. Anne as Mount Pleasant. They face off against Cavalier. It's a battle between third place Mount Pleasant and fourth place Cavalier. You don't want to miss it. On behalf of myself, Brandon, and the rest of the crew, the time, it will be 3.30 for the match in St. Anne. And don't forget, exclusively on the website and the mobile app, it will be Waterhouse. They will face off against Yui. You don't want to miss that. That will be played at Drew's Land. On behalf of myself, Brandon, and the rest of the crew, good evening. We are ready. The role is to...
continue to drive for the development of the game here. Although players are selected from clubs abroad, they were developed in the league. They're really quality players and they have really good attitude and you get your money's worth. This 